today I'm going to be crocheting. I'm going to be knitting a sweater. I always like say crochet. I'm knitting a sweater and I'm going to walk you through the process of how I'll be making my first completed sweater. I have actually made a knit sweater. Like I tried making one, but I never completed it. So I am making it a mission to finish the sweater. So I said uh, I'm going to incorporate like three things into the sweater. The first one is I'm going to try making stripes. So I've never done color work before. I want to start color work in knitting. And I'm saying, okay, why not just start into the basics of the basic, the basic of the basic stripes. So I'm going to make stripes. It will be a striped sweater. The next thing is I want to try the folded neck band stuff. Like I've seen a couple of pictures of this folded neckline for the ribbon. I don't know. I'm going to include that. And the next thing I also want to include is short rows shaping. So those short rows, I have tried it before for a, the sweater I was making, like the first sweater I tried to make. And it was horrible. I was making a raglan and I just didn't get it. So I'm going to try and get it this time around. So yeah, that is it. And this is currently August 12th. So I'm hoping to finish this sweater by like maybe September or something. I feel like I'm giving myself a month to finish this. So yeah. I have already started working on the sweater. I think I'm going to show you how far I've come, like the couple of things I've done. And yep, so that is all I have to say. Okay, so this is the yarn I'm using. It's a milk cotton yarn, and I have five balls of each color. So I want to try out and see how far this will take me. So that's like 500 grams in total. I'm hoping I'll be able to use like less than 500 grams to make the sweater. And this is what I have so far. I made the ribbon with two by two ribbon and I just tried to like use more of the dark purple yarn for the stripes, the bottom stripes. I don't even know what I'm doing, but yeah. Okay, so after a couple of rows, this is what I have of the light purple yarn. I still have more, I'm still using the first ball, and this is what is left of the first ball of the dark purple yarn. So I will soon like attaching new ball of yarn for the dark purple now with the second skin of the dark purple yarn i'm going to attach a new color right now and i'm about 10 inches into the end of my body um, section so i'm going to go ahead and walk about three more inches then i'm going to show you guys how it looks like so far and separate it both the front and the back basically yeah so that is the update and i'll see you once i'm done working on the body part So this is the third skin of this light purple yarn. I'm going to use it to start the upper section of the sweater. And I'm done with the front. I made short rows. I followed the tutorial. I'll put it on the screen or link it in the description box. So now I'm going to go ahead to work the back. I'm not doing any short rows for the back. I'm just going to attach my new yarn and all that. I'm going to make the front and the back panel. So now the next thing I want to do is like I'm going to seam the shoulders then I'll seam the side. So once I seam them together, I'm going to just work on the sleeves. So for the sleeves, I'm contemplating on like making it like the way I made the body, you know, I made stripes and then no stripes. I'm thinking of like making the sleeves in a solid color, maybe like the light purple or the dark purple. But I don't know what I'm going to choose. But before I make the sleeve, I'm actually going to make the neckline that ribbed for that rib color I think I was going for. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll seam make them for their neckline and then I'll show you once I'm done with making the sleeves. Have an issue with i'm going to fold to the neckline so i'm thinking that maybe i should like cast off then leave a long tail of yarn and like sew it in i don't know how people do it or maybe I, I will like for my final row i'm just going to like be casting off and still be joining it at the same time i don't know but that's the issue right now hopefully i'll be able to like 
figure it out pretty soon. I think that's what I'm going to do. But once I'm done, I'll probably show you how it looks like with everything. I should be done. I should start on the sleeve today, hopefully. Mm, I don't think so. Okay, so I finished casting off. Now I'm just going to, I've turned it to the wrong side. I'm going to just fold it like this. And I left a long, really long tail of yarn just to like, I'm going to sew them together and I'll show you once I'm done. And I also kind of like seam the sides too. Once I'm done. Okay, so this is the second sleeve and I'll soon be done. I'm just working on the final part and hopefully I'll be able to be like seam it today and join the body and I'll be done with the sweater. Okay, so guys, we've come to the end of today's video. I really enjoyed the process of making this um, sweater, so I don't think I did too bad for my first knit sweater. And the fact that I did not follow a pattern, I think I tried. I guess I'm not trying to blow my own all that, but I think I did a little bit. A good job in a way at least but one there are some things i would have changed differently the first thing is i would have made the sleeves longer and i would have also like when i was making the short rows i think the space i made like in between those two shoulders shoulder panels or shoulder whatever was too wide i think i would have added more stitches to the shoulder area but and also i don't think i would be making a cardigan that would need to seam anytime soon like i'm not really i've not gotten the angle of seaming for knitwear so the seams for this cardigan were kind of bunched up but i think that if i maybe if i iron it out maybe or block it or something it can it can be better but yeah i would definitely be making another knit sweater because i have to make about two or three sweaters um after this so but the next sweater i'm going to make will be a raglan style sweater so if you want to see i'm going to do that you can always subscribe to my channel and also thank you so much for a thousand subscribers i really appreciate um the support and everything so i'm currently filming a crochet tutorial so in case you want to like make a crochet top it's going to be a crochet top obviously so i'm going to like post it pretty soon once i'm done even though i just got started like today so yeah that is all for this video thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section and all that